Hi, I'm Serge. In this video, I'll show you how to install WordPress using Ansible. I'll install WordPress on a virtual machine with the Ubuntu operating system. You can download the ready-made files for this tutorial from my repository. The link is in the description. Let's start by creating a working project directory. After that, add Ansible configuration file to the project directory, which describes the project configuration. By the way, it's very useful to use a service with artificial intelligence, such as ChatGPT. For example, let's submit a request to it to explain the meaning of each line in the Ansible configuration file. That's it. Use this approach in the future when questions arise about configuration. Now create a hosts file where we'll specify our server with WordPress. Next, create the main playbook where you'll specify the future roles. In Ansible, a role is a reusable standalone unit of work that bundles together a set of related tasks, variables, files, templates and handlers into a single organized structure. To ensure that roles don't affect each other's work, I've separated them into different plays. We will create four roles – Server, PHP, Nginx and WordPress. We'll obtain the role for installing MySQL from the galaxy.ansible.com website. Now let's prepare the structure for the roles. Create the structure and files for the server's role. With this role, we'll update our server and then reboot it. The tasks directory contains the file with tasks that will be executed in the role. The handlers directory contains handlers used by the role. A handler is a special task that differs from a regular task in behavior. The handler is triggered at the end of the play execution and it will run if the task execution ends in the change state. Let's proceed by adding tasks. There are three actions in the file. Update the list of available packages. Upgrade the system by installing or upgrading packages. Handlers are in the notify block. This means that if packages are installed or updated, the server will restart. Now let's add the handlers themselves. The first handler triggers a reboot while the second handler waits until the server reboots. Next, create the PHP role which will install PHP packages. It will have tasks and VARS directories where the installed packages are specified. Add tasks to main.yaml file in the tasks directory. Then add variables to the VARS directory. In tasks, the familiar ansible.builtin.apt module is used, which retrieves packages to install from the VARS directory. The loop directive allows for the use of a loop. To install MySQL, utilize an external role from the galaxy.ansible.com website. To install the role on your host with Ansible, follow these steps. Enter the command to install the role. Check the installed role to ensure successful installation. Additionally, it's crucial to edit the main playbook.yaml file by replacing the name of the MySQL role.
follow the instructions provided for this role to create a file with variables and include it in the playbook. Let's define variables specifically for the host 192.168.1.60. To do this, create a folder named host underscore vars and within it a folder with the IP of your host in the name. By using this structure, we won't need to additionally include a file with variables in the playbook. Within the variables, specify the root password, database and its user. To avoid keeping the password in plain text, encrypt it using Ansible Bolt. As a result, we obtain an encrypted string. Let's change our password in the variables. You have to remember your database name, username and password. We'll need them during the WordPress setup phase. Let's proceed with the Nginx role. Begin by creating files and directories. First, include a task to install Nginx. Next, add to nginx configs to the files directory. You can take these files from the repository via the link provided at the start of the video. Please note that the domain name mydomain.com is specified in the configuration. Afterwards, introduce variables which will be necessary for the upcoming task. Now add a task to copy the configuration to the server. To streamline tasks and avoid redundancy with the copy module, use a loop with the dictionary. Utilize keys and values from the previously added variables. Lastly, incorporate a handler to restart Nginx and enable the service for auto start. Lastly, let's look at the WordPress role. This role includes only tasks. The first task establishes the directory for the future website. The second task checks if WordPress files are in the folder made before. This action captures the execution result in the file underscore check variable for use as a condition in subsequent tasks. The third task involves downloading WordPress. Note the when block. If the file wp-settings.php exists, the task will be skipped. In the fourth task, the archive is unpacked. The fifth task involves moving the archive from one directory to the website folder. Finally, in the sixth task, unnecessary files and directories are deleted. We've completed the role assignments. Now let's begin the installation process. Enter the password to decrypt our MySQL passwords, the become password and wait for the installation to finish.
I am recording this instruction on my local computer. To resolve my domain.com, I need to add the IP address associated with the domain to etc host file. Next, let's navigate to the website mydomain.com and complete the installation. As you can see, everything is functioning smoothly. I hope this video was helpful to you. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the like button. See you!